help about three or four people. It's not that bad, but it was not quite a while. You know, it was a line, three or four people, and just, just one person working behind the desk. So it gave me the opportunity to look at that person, to see how that person talked and communicated, and from three people back, I couldn't have read hard. No, no, some people just happen to be really easy to look at. So I stood and watched. This is great because I had an easy time with her. So person went, another person went, and I went up there, and while she was working with me, the phone rang, and she had to do something looking down <coughs> with a pen. So she was looking down with a pen, and she kept talking to me. So I said, well, I really can't understand you if you look down because I'm deaf and I need to see you. So when you're looking at me, it's fine. But when you look down, I lose you. That she was almost like that waiter. You know, when she knew I was deaf, she changed. Before she knew I was deaf, she was very easy to look at. After she knew I was deaf, she tried to help me understand her speech. And she tried so hard, I couldn't understand her. <laughs> so, she really made things worse. Now, her heart was in the right place. She was trying. She, she really wanted to help me, but she wasn't helping me. She just made things worse. And we ended up writing. Um, so I could understand her. So that's really a great example of context. Now, before she knew, everything was right. After she found out, everything went South. It's not, not a good thing. I, uh, I talked about sign 